What's up y'all, it's Mallory Davis and I'm getting ready to go on a month long trip to Georgia. It is where I was born and raised. Now I have to pack my camera gear. So let's take a look at the options I have of what I can bring and ultimately what ends up in my bag. Welcome to my office. It is a disaster currently. One thing I've done is taken the time to organize my gear closet and as it stands now, it's in pretty good shape. There's still some opportunity for organization, but this is a dramatic improvement over the disaster it was before. So let's talk cameras. Okay, let's start on the digital side over here. So front and center, uh, I've got a 70 to 200 f 2.8 lens i did a whole video review on this this lens and i cannot recommend it enough here i've got my a7 IV body attached to the 16 to 35 uh, g master this is the mark one and i contemplated upgrading and ultimately decided i'm good keeping this piece of glass next i have the tamron 28 to 200 millimeter. I did a video on this lens as well. It is extremely versatile, not the sharpest, but in terms of a good bang for your buck for just running around uh, hiking, etc., this is my go to lens. Now, this is the Sony ZV E10. I use this a lot when I'm shooting at my desk, and I'm actually thinking of selling it. The only thing that bothers me is it takes a different type of battery than these two cameras do. So contemplating selling, I don't know, throw a comment down below. Should I keep it or should I let it go? Next is a piece of glass that I use exclusively for Astro. So this is the Zeiss Aloxia 2.1 uh, 21 millimeter lens. It is a manual focus lens. So again, highly specialized for just doing Astro. Here I have my Sony a7R4. So here I have my version of a Nifty 50. So this is a Zeiss piece of glass. It's f1.8. So freaking sharp, nice creamy bokeh. Love this lens. The last of uh, the digital bodies is the one and only the Leica Q2. Uh, my absolute baby. Let's shift to analog. Okay, so I'll start at the front. This is my Hasselblad 500 CM and I really love to shoot with this 150 millimeter lens which is about a 70-75 millimeter equivalent. I also have a wide field view uh, with this 50 millimeter. I mean these things are so heavy. Next up this is my Canon AE-1 program very very special to me this was the camera uh, my mom used to photograph us as kids so i have since refurbished this bought some new glass for it absolutely love this camera this has a 50 millimeter lens on it currently but i also have a 28 and another 50 millimeter because why not i also have this 70 to 210 vivitar next we have another leica this is the one and only like a M6, so absolute classic camera. I currently have the Voigtlander 35 millimeter f 1.4 lens on here. I kind of regret 35. I love 50 millimeters on 35 millimeter film, but I understand with a rangefinder, I don't know. So that's the current setup for the Leica. And then last but not least, we have the Mac Daddy, the Mamiya 7. And this has quickly become one of my favorite cameras just because of the user interface. It feels really, really great in your hands. It's huge though. And I currently have an 80 millimeter lens on this. So about a 40 millimeter equivalent since this is medium format. There we have it. That's our options. Now let's whittle down what I'm actually gonna take. Okay, that was a super super tough decision process. Let's start with film since we just finished with it. So the first film camera, because I am taking multiple, judge me not, I have to take my Mumia 7. So I want a medium format camera and this one's gonna be at about 40 millimeters. So a good versatile focal range, focal length. I have to bring it, it's going home. I'm taking 
the Canon AE-1 program. Again, this was my mom, so it feels right to take it home. And I'm gonna leave the 50 millimeter on this lens. Could be nice for some portraits of my family or my niece, etc. Now for digital cameras. If you're new to my channel, then go check out some of my other videos about the Q2. It, it goes everywhere with me. I, I can't not take it. Q2 is making the journey. Now, A7R4 or the A7 IV. Believe it or not, I'm actually gonna opt for the Sony A7 IV. Reason being, I've recently gotten into birding and there are some awesome birds in Georgia that I love the bird AI autofocus on this camera body. And I have another video on this camera body as well if you're interested in learning more about it. But I am opting to pair it with the 16 to 35 as a nice wide angle lens. I can also do astro with this lens. So one of the lenses that's not in my closet currently is my Sigma 150 to 600. It's already in the trailer. So that's definitely going with me um, to pair with this Sony a7 IV. Do I bring other lenses than that. Yeah, I have to. So I'm gonna bring my Tamron, my trusty Tamron. It's just so versatile, 28 to 200, can't go wrong. So I'm actually recording this video on the Insta360 Ace Pro, and I'm gonna have to do a video specifically on this action camera because I have been blown away. I'm coming from a GoPro Hero 9, and I am gonna take this. So this is the bonus category. So I'll take the Insys 360 Ace Pro. I'm gonna take this just for time lapses. Honestly, I'm kinda done with GoPro after switching to this Insta360. It's been incredible. And speaking of Insta360, I'm also taking the X3 for cycling. I'm gonna bring my bike to Georgia and I love, love, love some of the perspectives you can get from this camera on a bicycle. So. That about does it. What do you think? Am I making the right decisions? We'll see. Since I finished recording that video, I, I added one more camera to the bag. Yeah, I was downstairs packing my film. I have to take my Leica M6, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you agree with what I took, feel free to drop a comment down below or if you think I should have taken it all, let me know as well, but trying to exercise some self-restraint here while still being able to capture my home state uh, with some of my camera gear. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Like is also awesome as well, but in the meantime, happy shooting.